let's get started. Um, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to One Minute Grammar number 69. I really apologize because this video was due last week, but I had some some unforeseen circumstances and I had to cancel class. But anyway, uh, today we're talking about two grammar questions uh, we are used to. Um, we're talking about, as you can see from the title, we're talking about advanced grammar today. So don't feel so disappointed if you don't get everything that we're talking about today, if your level is below that. But I promise that by the end of today, everybody should understand the two questions that we're talking about. The first question comes from this sentence here. Mayor's husband is some musician. And I, I know you did do some search, at least Ms. Ali here with me on Zoom did some search and he got half the answer before I even showed them the question. That's very smart. And the second question is about grammar for each and every. And let's kick a start, but let me welcome first people on Facebook. Hello, people. Assalamu So our uh, people on Facebook, if you would like to join me on Zoom, then you will find in a comment how to join task code and everything. So here is the first question on my question. First question, he is right or wrong. Mary's husband is some musician. Um, I, I've never heard of him or his band but I heard, but I heard them play last week, and it was really bad. So, is this sentence right or wrong? And the second one, that was some party. I'm so glad Sarah invited me. I really enjoyed myself. So, these are the two questions. This is advanced. Don't feel so disappointed if you don't know the answer or you get the answer wrong. So, if you're watching a recorded video, then pause the video now because the answer is coming. But let me invite my friend here on Zoom first. Um, do you have the answer to the questions or any of them? Sally, would you like to answer? Any people on Facebook, you can write your answers and I'll say my lab. Okay, Mr. Muhammad. Please. Okay, the first sentence, I think it's right because uh, some, uh, some musician uh, means here a known person or thing. Okay. Now okay. about the second one, what do you think about it? Or, yeah, yeah, and for the second one, uh, we can use uh, some f in informal speech to show uh, enthusiastic uh, appreciation uh, about something. Right, awesome. Now, yeah. let me read to you from uh, the section 546.8 from this wonderful book. Now, we're used to this book now, and it reads like this. Some can refer to unknown person, thing, and it's usually used with a singular countable noun. So here's the example. Some idiot had taken the bath plug. So somebody who wants to take a shower. Right. So now the grammar for today is we can use this structure, which is using some with a singular countable noun. We can use this structure to suggest that we're not interested in somebody or something, or that we don't think much of him, her, or it. Now, let me give you an example. Mary's gone to America to marry some sheep farmer or other. So you see some sheep farmer, I don't even mention him by name. She went there to marry somebody, we don't care. Okay, now that was the first half of the grammar for today. Now the second half is, the in informal speech, as Mr. Ali said, some can show enthusiastic appreciation. Like we're really enthusiastic about some something, but don't forget that this is used in informal speech. So uh, the we it's kind of like a collocation. We hear it a lot in English. That was some party. That was some party. I guess you figured out the answer now, as Mr. Ali said. The first one is correct because here we're referring to somebody that we don't think much of, like we don't care about him. And then the second one, the fact that she's really happy to have attended Sarah's party means she's really enthusiastic. So in this case, the word some is used correctly as well. All right, good job. Let's hear if we, from people on Facebook. Okay, no comments. All right. 
Awesome. Now, here is the second question about every and, and each. So, which is better, each or every? Space member of the team had a short meeting with the manager. So, each member or every member? And B, space member of the team desperately wanted to win. Desperately, they wanted something very, very much. So each or every, again, in C, they've lost nearly space, match the play this season. So again, each or every, think about it. If you're watching this video um, recorded, you can pause now and take your time and think about it because we will say the answer now. Okay, so Ms. Ali, if you have the answer, all people on Facebook watching, if you have the answer, then you can shout it out, or I mean, you can write it, and I will say it on your behalf. Uh, uh, okay, Mr. Muhammad. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, we can. Uh, I would say each for the first one. Each, okay. Okay, and uh, we can say uh, every for uh -huh. the for B sentence. Okay. And the for C. Every match. Okay. Now, do you have any reason for that, or it's just your gut feeling? You just had that feeling okay. that this is correct. Okay, <laughs> let's say... It's fine if you don't get the explanation. Go ahead. Okay, uh, for uh, for the first sentence, I think we are talking about uh, each member of the team as individuals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As they Interesting. Have, uh, yeah, okay. And uh, for B, I, I mean all the team, as, as all the members of the team. Okay. Okay, and uh, for C, I think we uh, we have the same expression all, okay. all matches. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, very good guesses. Very good guesses. Really, really good. Your grammar is really strong. So let me give you let me give you the explanation, and then I'll give you a minute to think about the question again. Now, um, it's it's very good to know this is not the question yet, but it's very good to know that we can use each and every interchangeably. So we can use him uh, to talk about two or more people or things like, um, well, every is, is used more for more than two people, for three people or more, and each is used for two people. But we can use him like this. You look more beautiful each time I see you. You can say this to your wife tonight. She will love you. You look more beautiful every time I see you. So... You see, we can use them interchangeably. But I, as I said, it's better to use each for two and every for three and more. But again, this is not the grammar for tonight. I don't want to confuse you. Now, here's the thing. But, now listen to this. We prefer each, as Mr. Ali said, we prefer each when we're thinking of people or things separately one at a time. And every is more common when we're thinking of people or things together in a group. So if the individuals in the team did different things, each one of them did it on his own or her own, then we say each. But if the whole team did the same thing, then we prefer each. I'll give you an example. Now, each person in turn went to see the doctor. So not all of them went to see the doctor at the same time. Each one of them went and then came out and then the other person went and then came out and then the person after went and then came out. So each in this case. Now look at this. Every patient came from the same small village. Every patient came from the same small village. That doesn't mean that they came individually. This is not what they're talking about. They're talking about what? The fact that all of them came from that same place. Now, think about the question now. Um, C, they've lost nearly, are we talking about matches collectively or are we talking about matches individually? Let's see. So here are the correct answers. So each member had a meeting with the manager. Makes sense, not all of them went. Yeah. Every member of the team wanted to win. Like all of them wanted to win. And I'm just emphasizing that all of them wanted to win. Like each, each one of them, every one of them, every one of them. And now they've lost each match, like each last match, every single last match they lost. So every here is more possible. 
So let's sum up the two uh, grammar rules that we talk about, talked about tonight. We're um, using the word some to actually mean something and it's opposite. It's like you don't care about somebody or you really, really care about them. He was some musician or he was some musician that I don't care about. You see how difficult it is to differentiate between the two? And the second thing is we differentiated between each and every and we said, Every is like we think about what people do as a group, but each is like when we think about each one of them and, and he did some something on his or her own. So that's it for tonight. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, uh, you can leave a comment on Facebook. Ms. Ali, do you have any questions? Uh, yes, Mr. Muhammad. Yes, sir. Uh, for uh, the third sentence. Mm, for C. Can I, okay. Can I say nearly each match? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say that. So, so ca can't we say every here? Um, I would prefer to use each. I mean, in spoken English, nobody would really care. I mean, if you yeah. if you ask somebody in the UK or in America, they wouldn't know the answer. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, in in like speaking, nobody will comment on this. But if you're talking about grammar, then we say each match, and the fact that we use the word nearly here makes me want to say each. OK, yeah, now that's one thing. Um, now, uh, this is where you can find out more about what we talked about today. These sections of um, practical English usage and tomorrow I'll see you. We'll take two more new good relationship idioms. And after tomorrow, a new video, uh, one grammar collocations. We will uh, do a revision for the previous two sessions. And that's it for tonight. Thank you very much for being with me tonight and enjoy your evening. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye. Thank you for being with me here tonight, Sally. And Thank so you. Join us late. Okay, that was AM. Thank you, AM, for being here. Bye. Okay.